everyone, it's Budget Bunny here. So today I'm going to be cleaning out my hamster's cage and I thought it would be fun to do a Christmas themed cage clean video. So this is a custom built DIY cage that Mr. BB and I made about five years ago. I'll make sure to have links in the cards above on us building the cage and walking you through how we built the cage and the supplies that we use. This cage is basically constructed out of melamine and plexiglass and we've had this cage for five years now. There have been multiple hamsters who have lived their lives in this cage and it's held up really really well. I still love the look of this cage. It is 16 inches wide by 49 inches long, which is 784 square inches of floor space for a hamster to run around and do all its hamstery things. And the current resident in our hamster cage is Bambi, and she was welcome to the BB household. Uh, not too long ago and if you haven't met Bambi already I suggest clicking the card up above once you're done this video and getting to know her because I did do a vlog of us bringing home Bambi not too long ago so as you can probably tell Bambi's cage was in some autumn themed colors we used aspen shavings and all living things autumn themed bedding in here and it's pretty rare that I do a full cage clean and that's just because hamsters actually get very stressed out when you fully change all of their shavings at once. So it's usually good if you can to just do um, portions of the cage at a time. But it's been a while since I've done a full cage clean at this point. So I've decided after kind of going through the bedding and having assessment that we really need to change all of the shavings here. And this is also a good time to go through and disinfect anything that needs to be um, kind of soaked and cleaned out, as well as spraying down the cage with the water vinegar solution to kill any potential bacteria or anything that has made its way in here. So I do leave Bambi in here for most of the cage clean, and that's because I'm just using um, supplies that aren't going to hurt her. I've just moved all of her wooden toys and items up to the top level of her cage and I'm using a dustpan and a garbage bag to simply scoop up all of the shavings and then toss them into the trash. So now that I've got all the bedding removed from the cage, I do want to do a really thorough job on this cage clean. So um, I'm removing Bambi from the cage so that I can just run the shop back quick and get up any last pieces of dust and shaving particles before I spray it thoroughly with a water vinegar solution and just give it a good wipe down. And because I'm using a generous amount of bedding in her cage, I mean the bottom of the cage is really fine anyways, but this is also a great way to clean off the plexiglass because it does get a little bit dusty, get some little hammy paw prints on there too, so it's always nice to give that a good clean so that you have a really good view into the cage itself. Okay, so now I'm filling this up with some KT Clean and Cozy bedding. I love this bedding, it's nice and fluffy and it's a, much, a more inexpensive version of like a Carefresh paper-based bedding. And I thought this would be a good one to use at this time of year because it's white and fluffy, so it kind of reminded me of snow. And then I do have a bag of the Carefresh special edition Christmas themed 
bedding but again Carefresh I do find is pretty expensive and I do find the red and green kind of dark together so that's why I thought if I mix the red and green in with the white it gives it kind of a fun candy cane look and you'll also notice in the beginning I did have aspen shavings mixed with bedding that's what I usually do in the warmer months because it is pretty warm in this room but since it's winter time I do like to make the cage a little more cozy and as warm as possible. I've taken out her wheel and water bottle and I've washed those down thoroughly before putting them back into the cage. I've had different hamsters who pee on wood things, who use their wheels as kind of a litter box, but Bambi's pretty tidy with litter habits and she prefers to do all of her business just in one corner of the cage. That makes it easy for me to keep on top of and do regular spot cleans too. So I'm not going to worry about soaking or washing any of the wood items in here right now because they look perfectly fine. And this is what the cage looks like now that I've got it all finished. I still have some Christmas decorating to do, but there will be a holiday themed hamster cage tour coming up soon. So I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this cage cleaning video. Thanks for watching. Bye!